Hello everyone, my name is Yuri and welcome back to my channel. I gotta admit something, I already recorded this video but it didn't save for some weird reason. So we already have some weird stuff on the world, but I do have a time lapse of that so I'm gonna show you that in a second. My plans for today are to get Silk Touch and make a nice little village on their left side of me. But I already built it and don't want to spoil it so you gotta watch the time lapse for that and here it comes. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me home. I hope you enjoyed the little time lapse. That's one of the things we built, and the other two were too long to actually fit in the time lapse. Otherwise, this video would be like 20 minutes long, which we I don't want. So I'm gonna show you what I else what else I built right now, and here you go. This is a beautiful village, I think. I think it came out really nicely. We have a little farm which I'm gonna use for sheep later. You have these beautiful two houses over here, and I think there's a creeper in here somewhere. Oh, a skeleton even. Okay, hello there, sir. Get out of here, please. Thank you very much. And up here is another floor. That's the creeper, I mean. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> this has a mob farm. But no, this is the house we built. I really like the way this came together. It just looks beautiful. This one as well. It's, I think I prefer that one, but it just looks very cool as well. And then we have some more stuff here. Here's the villager breeder we built on the last video. And guys, I was really stupid when I built it. Because if you look to my right, or left even, there's not a single villager in here anymore. Apart from my mending villager. Like, no way. You was like 10 minutes ago. What? Oh no. What have you done, sir? Alright, but uh... <laughs> now we don't have any villagers, and I want to give myself a Sick Dodge Big Axe, because I'm again, I'm on bad line client, so you cannot see the enchantments on my tools, but uh... This one's maxed out, and we have uh, this little guy, which I made a few minutes ago, for the time lapse. But, I want to get myself a mob grinder, and I already have a position for that. Because I spent uh, a good 30 minutes looking for this thing, and I finally managed to find one of them so if we go down here we'll eventually if I get up there we'll see a little tunnel over here which brings me to a zombie spawner it's a uh, it's not too far away from the base but I didn't build it yet so that's one thing we can do in this video so it's in here and I want to make a zombie grinder of this thing I already looted this chest and everything oh it didn't take this event apparently but uh, I'm gonna make a zombie grinder here, and I'll update you guys when I'm on my way. Okay, I'm building the farm, and I'm gonna explain to you guys how this farm actually works. Because it's a very, very simple design, but we're making use of efficient spawning spaces, luckily. To give us more uh, mob spawns in a shorter period of time. So the mob grinder goes four blocks out, because that's the maximum range for the spawner to work. It goes four blocks out. So, meaning, in this area here, the mobs will still spawn. I gotta do the same for these sites over here. But if the mobs spawn, we gotta get them to one point in the spawner. Which is, I think, gonna be somewhere around this or in the center. I'm not sure why I wanna make it yet. And then we have a killing chamber down there. There's one, a little bit of a design flaw in this design. Because if a mob spawns on top of this thing, it's gonna ruin our spawning chances because if there's already here, it will it won't spawn any more mobs. Oh, it's spawning mobs right now, but it's because of the mob cap. And if there's a mob here, it's the spawner won't spawn anymore. 
So we're gonna flush them up from the top. We can either do that by just placing down a block here so the mobs cannot spawn. But I'm, I prefer having it so we have a little bit more efficient. Because I think if you have these blocks open, you have around 5% more spawning rates. Which is pretty large for this little farm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a system. So when a mob spawns on top of the spawner, not around here. It will send a signal and it will flush the mob off which, with some tripwires and some string. And this is all we need. It's a very simple design and how it works is the fence gates open. The fence gates are open here and that is very handy because the game doesn't think that it's an unspawnable block. So zombies can spawn in these guys and just fall. But if one happens to spawn on top of this one, the spawner, this represents a spawner by the way, it would get flushed off by a simple redstone system and if we leave it, it just stops the water so the next mob can spawn. But it's very handy because it gives us more spawning spaces for the mobs. I don't know if you don't suit anything on that, but <laughs> I'm not a redstone genius, so don't like me. And here we go, it's all built on the survival build. If we remove the door, to, it should all work properly, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, there already goes one. Also, you might have heard I just got a pop filter on my microphone, so that should improve the sound quality a little bit. This thing is working great, guys. I um, hope you saw how it worked. I was one of gave her a couple of minutes with my recording still going, and we have had a lot of levels so far. We're level 30, which is enough to do a one enchantment. So hopefully we can get soaked on. Alright, I did it on a short AFK session at the XP grinder and we have 32 levels now, which is perfectly enough to enchant two pickaxes. And we have some lob, so let's give it a shot. Suck touch. I'm breaking three. Okay, this could give me soak touch. So hopefully Nope. It didn't. FC4, always good to have. Oh my god, we're getting so unlucky. <laughs> How on earth are we gonna get so touch now? <laughs> I think I need a grindstone. Well guys, that's gonna run up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'm out.